Welcome back to lesson six. Now, I feel that this particular lesson really didn't explain masking very good, nor did it explain channel masks at all. Let me go ahead and show you what a channel mask can be used for. Again, this part of the uh, video is not in your textbook, and it's only available here on this Canvas site. So let's go ahead and de de dive deeper into channel masks. I'm right now at Google and I'm going to uh, locate uh, an image called tree image. And to, to find a large image, I'm going to go to settings. Let's see, is it settings or tools? First of all, I'm going to say images. I think it might be under size, under tools, and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna get a nice large image, whatever large means. And what I wanna take from this is, I wanna do a tree, a beautiful, gorgeous looking tree. Let's go ahead and use this tree right here. That's one of the images I'm gonna use. Let's go ahead and see if we can download this particular tree. And I'm going to save image as to the desktop as tree. Tree image one, tree one, save. Let's find some other trees while I'm here that I can use. Let's find, oh, look at this beautiful tree. Isn't this gorgeous? That is a gorgeous tree. Let's see, do I have a large image of that? No, I do not. So let's go ahead and go back. This is not the tree I'm looking for. Uh, let's see, let me find a nice tree that I can use. This looks interesting. That does look interesting, but not nearly, that's not what I want. Palm, more palm trees. Uh, why not? Let's see if we can get more palm trees. Uh, for what I want to use, I need to have a special image that I'm actually trying to select from. And if I don't have it, then I'm looking for the correct image to place it. Give me one second while I try to find some other trees. Oh, this might be an interesting tree. This might be an interesting tree, right? Let's see if it opens up for me so I can download a nice image. Here we go, right click and save image as, and I'm gonna save it as tree two, right onto my desktop. So I have two images of trees. Let me go ahead and minimize. I'm gonna go ahead and open the first one. I'm gonna go to the desktop and tree one. So now I have my tree, which looks gorgeous on this nice beach. And I wanna put this tree in a different picture. I wanna select the tree and nothing else. I'm gonna unlock the layers. Now this is where channel masks come into very handy because look at all these little white spaces I need to select in order to make a perfect selection. Look at all of these little spaces. It's impossible to select using any of these selection tools that we have, but we can do it with a channel mask. Let's go to our channels. Look at this, we are currently using RGB, red, green, blue channels, red, green, blue. And when we click off of it, right now we are viewing the blue channel. Now we're viewing the green channel. Notice the slight difference. Now we're viewing the red channel. The channels are all gray. They're black and white and tones of black and white, shades of black and white. So right now, my job is to somehow select the tree without selecting the sky. So what I'm looking for in selecting this is a particular image that gives me the most contrast between what I want, which is the tree, 
and what I don't want, which is the sky and the, and the clouds. Notice this contrast is too closely related to the tree. I have some white, I have some dark grays. The dark grays in the clouds also resemble the dark grays in the tree. That will not be a good selection. So let's not use red. Let's try green. The green option is a little better, not as much gray, but a lot of white, and some of this white and gray has, are in the trees. Could work, but let's try how the blue will work. Look at the blue color. Everything is white and the tree is nice and dark. Now, if I modify the current channel blue layer right now, I will modify the actual picture. I don't wanna do that. So I'm going to right click and duplicate the blue channel. My blue channel has been duplicated. Notice when my blue and blue channel are selected, notice the red hue that appears over it. Doesn't that look like a quick mask that we just covered? It does. So now I'm working on my copy of the blue channel. Now my Next step is going to adjust the image curves, the image levels in such a way that makes white as white as possible and makes the tree as black as possible. I'm trying to get the tree as black as possible and what I don't want to be as white as possible. Look at that. See the tree? How darker it's getting? I'm playing with the curves. Look at that. Notice this that appeared on the side. That tells me that's too much adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and throttle back on that adjustment just a little bit. I don't want to see that. I want to see white and I want to see black. I'm going to click OK. Notice the adjustment, white and black. Now, the next thing I have to do is reselect the RGB layers, deselect the blue copy. Or select the blue copy and click low channel as selection, which I'm not gonna do right now. I'm gonna go back to layers. Now, I'm going to go layers, and I'm gonna to go to the option where it says selections, load selection. I'm going to go ahead and select blue copy. Click okay. Notice the sky and the tree is selected. Well, actually, excuse me. Notice that the sky and the beach is selected, but not the tree. I'm gonna invert this. Selection, invert. Now the tree is selected and part of the beach. I'm gonna modify this selection in a few minutes. Now that everything is selected, I can go ahead and create a mask. Notice special effects on the bottom of my layers, there's a thing called mask. When I click on the mask, a mask gets created. Notice in the mask, Everything that is black is hidden. Everything that is white is revealed. So now I'll take a tool, brush tool and notice I have black and white colors. If I go ahead and use white, the sky is gonna be revealed. See that I'm painting. The sky is being revealed. If I use black, I'm deleting the boat, things are being hidden. See that? Let me make sure the hardness is all the way up. It is. Zoom in. Notice I'm painting on the actual mask using a black color. Black hides and white reveals. So watch this, all of this tree stuff 
is getting hidden. Look at that. There are some areas of the beach that needs to get hidden. There we go. And now we have a tree selected. Now we can create a separate layer below it and say, filter, render, let's do clouds. You know what, let's go ahead and render some clouds. I'm gonna have blue clouds and white background. You know, blue and, blue and light blue clouds would really look nice here, right? I'm gonna go to filter, render, and I'm gonna go ahead clouds. Notice the back layer is clouds. Now let me go ahead and click on this mask. Notice how we can see the clouds through all of these little intricate designs. Look at that. Imagine selecting all of these little intricate designs, all of these little areas. Imagine selecting it by hand. How hard would that be? I think it would be very hard. But notice we have a lot of this speckle, whatever this is. So let's get rid of it. I'm going to modify my mask by clicking on the mask and I'm gonna use a brush and I'm gonna use a black brush to hide all of this extra data that we don't need. I'm gonna, I'm basically cleaning up the beach of all the speckles. See that? Look at all of that. Actually, I can get rid of the shadow as well because we're gonna create our own shadow in a few minutes. Look at that. Is that nice and clean, right? So now all I have to do is create, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a new layer. Let's go ahead and create a new layer, put it on the bottom. And this layer is gonna be, let's make it sand. I'm just doing it very loosely. There is my sand layer, right? How is that? Now, guess what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna do a shadow. Right click the image, select pixels. Instead of selecting the image, let's go ahead and select the actual, um, select the actual uh, mask. And on the mask, I can select select uh, and mask, or I can go ahead and uh, deselect this. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to convert the mask to pixels. And how am I gonna do that? Let's see. Right click, delete mask, apply layer mask, disable mask, add mask to selection. That's what I'm looking for, add mask to selection. So we go right back from the mask to a selection. There's my selection. Create a new layer. Call it shadow. Edit, fill the selection. Fill it with black. Drop the opacity of the selection. Now, Go ahead, deselect, and go edit, free transform. Let's go ahead, edit, free transform the selection, and let's go ahead and lay the selection down. I'm gonna use the control key, and I'm just gonna lay the selection down on the beach. We're running out of room. Let's move this tree over to the side. The beautiful thing about layers is we can move things around. That's why I wanted you to put things on different layers. 
Go back, edit, free transform. Continue the transformation of the shadow, which is gonna be right there. make it look real. And there is our shadow. How's that guys? And this is a much better way of creating a shadow. Let's look up closer. Look at that. Right? So what we did is we created a channel mask using this tree. We added a background. We added the beach. We selected add mask to selection, which went back to creating this little the selection. Then we copied and filled the selection on the new layer. And then we dropped the opacity, free transformed it to give us a shade. So we used a channel mask to create this shade. Thank you for joining me. And uh, if you have questions, which I know you will, go ahead and write to, write to me, email me, uh, let me know what you think about this particular lesson that is not in the book. This lesson is going to be on the midterm. I want you to know how to work with channels in order to isolate the objects you want change them to the background, create a shadow. Have a good day and I'll speak to you and I'll see you online.